I'm in Jacksonville, Florida today, and I'm visiting the folks at Collins Construction. I'm hearing they're doing some great things with soffits and drywall grid, which I might say is a great combination. I just had to stop by and check out what they're doing on this six-story, 200,000-square-foot office tower. So come along with me as I stop by the project. Hey, I'm here with uh, Jason Paolo. He's with Collins Construction here in the uh, Jacksonville area. And uh, good to see you, Jason. Nice to meet you. One of the things we hear, Jason, about, uh, you know, from a lot of contractors is safety and, you know, how they're a lot safer with the drywall grid for soffits. How, how's it impacting safety for you here on the job? That's also a big deal when, you know, you're saving about a week and a half worth of work. You're saving a week and a half worth of safety risks as long as that. Um, we don't have to get on scaffold, shoot track and above. Um, overhead, things in the way. We're shooting wire from the ground. Everything's just, from the everything ground. Everything is from the ground, and it's much safer that way. And and you're not and you're you're, you're pre uh, jigging everything. Ahead everything of time. is pre jigged, so you don't have a bunch of guys getting hand cuts and all that. So everything's made in this station right here. You know what feedback are you hearing from the general contractor with regards to what they may be hearing from MEP trades and things like that? Well, they love it because it saves time in their schedule. Okay. And um, safety as well. But um, just the MEPs not having to worry about stuff in the way. You can shoot a wire anywhere and get away with it. So when you start putting track and studs and kickers, it becomes an issue. Yeah, so GCs are, they care about safety and they care about productivity. Yes. So with what Collins is doing here, it's really impacting that here on this, uh, this job. Is there a learning curve, you know, when you all started this, uh, as far as uh, uh, using the drywall grid? We normally use the drywall grid for ceiling, so the guys already had an idea what to do. So it really wasn't a learning curve on our part. Just, just keeping with mains on four foot on yep. center, stabbing yep. them in. Doing the same thing, no learning curve. It took about an hour to get a jig done and they run with it. Yeah, I mean, doesn't matter if it's upturning nope. as long as it's four foot on yep. center. Click and go. Click and go. You know, what advice do you have for a new contractor that might be thinking about doing this on one of their jobs? Definitely try it out. Um, this is something that you just can't lose. Okay. I mean, if you can do ECT, you can do this. Yeah, and if so. we can provide shop drawings, does and that... That's huge. Yeah, shop drawings, you get approved by the architect. I mean, there's a lot of time savings and money savings, so it's yeah. huge. You know, how, how was this job bid? Was this bid using stud and track, or was it bid with drywall grid? Uh, I, I believe initially it was bid with the drywall system. Drywall, drywall. Um, drywall grid system. Drywall grid. And with the soffit system and all that, um, just because we knew we had to come in at a certain number. And, and we knew the cost savings was going to be drastic on that. Okay. And so it helped you, it helped you win the job. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. That's good. I couldn't resist getting a shot of these guys running cable. The duct work and MEP access would have been complicated with stud and track. Yeah, so here we have the template where they're actually bending all of these main beams into soffit frames uh, using the, uh, uh, the plywood with the, uh, uh, with the wood guides to guide the installation of the clips and turning this into a, a perfect 90 degree inside and outside corner. And then when they're done, they're going down here and they're stacking them up. Look at these simple two by two soffits here. These are even more simple. Uh, they're just taking mains two feet on center or they're taking uh, that you could even take uh, four or six foot cross tees two feet on center and bend them uh, They're uh, kicking them back uh, to square them up But the key takeaway here is that they're eliminating four to five feet of studs to structure because they're simply floating these with hanger wire So real fast real productive and when Jason was talking about the productivity gains that they have on this job This is precisely because of it Here's an area on this five-story building where they have basically 800 running feet of this per floor. In this condition, it's, it's a 10-foot bulkhead soffit with a light cove on one side and, uh, and then an upturn, oh, about a 12-inch upturn on the outside edge. But every 10 feet, there's a linear light fixture that is mudded into the drywall. And with the drywall grid, they're able to frame 10 running feet at a time putting their main beams four feet on center. And uh, when we were looking at the template earlier or the jig, uh, they were bending up these main beams very efficiently. And again, they're only needing to bend their equipment every four feet on center. 
and that just greatly increases the productivity and it's eliminating all of the studs to structure as well. Hey, we're outside the job here and uh, before we finish up, I want to introduce you to Wade Little. Wade is our installation specialist for the whole South Central area and we have about 10 installation specialists around the country. Each region has one and I just want Wade to take a moment to tell you about how he got Collins up to speed on building soffits like they did here. And if you want help from an installation specialist in your region, give your Armstrong rep a call, set up a training event, and we'll definitely come out and do it. Well, um, initially we started with uh, with Collins. Um, they got really involved with that uh, with how drywall grid worked. So we got them out to Vegas. We visited our Vegas plant, and during that Vegas trip, we took them and gave them a presentation. Soffit drops and. Uh, uh, light coves and different uh, applications you can do short span with our with our drywall grid and from that point there they uh, they took it and run with it but Collins is one of these younger companies that has taken the product and just run with it and they've done very well in, in, in their production efforts and everything if in your areas where you're watching this video now if you want someone like a Wade Little or installation specialist for any type of Armstrong product, but especially if you want to do what Collins did here on this job, give our installation specialist a call if you're in Florida or the Southeast, give Wade a call. So, hey, thanks a lot and peace out.